The way to check for null in C-sharp has evolved over time. Let's take a look at how it has changed. Until C-sharp 6, checking for null was done using the equal or not equal operators. This worked great, however, those operators in C-sharp can be overridden, leading to unexpected behavior. Starting with C-sharp 7, we can now use the is operator, so checking if something is null now looks like this. What's great about this approach is that it checks the reference directly and it can't be affected by any operator overriding. The problem, however, is that to negate this check, you either have to do this, which looks ugly and easy to miss, this, because if something is an object, then it can't be null, however, this is also hard to read, and starting with C-sharp 8, this, which is the same as the previous one, but more confusing. C-sharp 9 finally addressed this with the NOT operator, allowing us to check if something isn't null like this. For a full video on the topic, check the link in the description.